Hello, in this session we are going to look at the depends on meta argument. Now by default when we are uh, creating the resources, so let's say we are creating multiple resources using Terraform. Now by default Terraform will handle the dependency for us. So the, the Terraform has a built-in feature where it will automatically take care of the order in which the resources will be created so that the dependency are resolved. Now, however, there might be cases where there are certain hidden dependencies which your Terraform cannot handle automatically or you want to control the order in which the resources are uh, created, then we can make use of your depends on meta argument. So you only need to explicitly specify a dependency when a resource or module relies on another resources behavior but does not access any of that resources data in the argument. So let's say for example, you have one EC2 instance and you have a DB instance. Now this EC2 instance depends on the DB instance, right? So you can create a dependency between these two resources. So the depends on meta argument instructs Terraform to complete all the actions on the dependency object before performing actions on the object declaring the dependency. So let's say, in my EC2 instance, I have created a dependency telling that the DB instance should be launched first. Then Terraform will go ahead and launch the DB instance first and then the EC2 instance will be launched. So when the dependency object is an entire module, it depends on affects the order in which Terraform processes all of the resources and data sources associated with that module. So you can use depends on uh, meta argument either in the module block as well as you can use this in the resource block so you can use this for any resource type you want so this requires a list of reference to other resources or child modules in the same calling module so you need to basically specify a reference to uh, which resource the dependency is for so the list cannot include arbitrary expressions because the depends on value must be known before Terraform knows resource relationships and this before it can safely evaluate the expression. So here we cannot make use, an, uh, make use of an arbitrary expressions. Uh, Terraform needs to know the value before the dependency resource is created. So Terraform recommends including a comment that explains why using depends on is necessary. So not everyone may understand the purpose of the depends on meta argument that uh, we are using. So it is recommended that we add a comment so that whenever uh, anyone looks at the code, they understand as to why this depends on meta argument has been declared. So here is my uh, resource block. So here I'm launching an EC2 instance. And here if you see, this is the depends on meta argument that I'm creating. And here is the dependency that I'm creating. So this means there will be another resource block which will create an IAM role policy. And this is the local name we have given. Now in this case, what will happen is Terraform will first launch this resource and then my AWS instance will be launched. So let's see an example for this. So uh, before using this depends on, uh, we'll, well, let's create resources without the depends on meta argument and let's see what Terraform does. So here is the code that I will be using. I'll provide the link for this in the description section or in the resources uh, section so you can use this. So let's start writing this code uh, or let's start copying this to the server. So here I have my server. So let's go with the locals.tf uh, file first. So we are uh, setting our tags. So this will be locals.tf. I'll save this. Then we'll use the uh, provider.tf where we have our provider block. Provider.tf. So this becomes my provider block. Then we will have our, uh, let's say, main.tf. Now here, if you say I'm creating three, three resources, uh, an S3 bucket, I'm launching a DB instance and an EC2 instance. Okay, so for now here, if you say I've created a dependency, but for this example, first I will comment this out to see what Terraform does. So let's comment this particular line, all right? And here, if you see most of the things, I'm using variables. So that means uh, we have a variables.tf file where all these variables are declared. So let's go with this variables.tf file. And here I have all the ways so I'm using uh, quite a few variables for this example. So I'll, I have declared all the variables here. 
this will be variables dot tf file and the value for this i have declared in my terraform dot tf vars file so here i have all the values so let's take that and terraform dot tf vars and i give all the values all right so you can also use the same example uh, depending on your requirement you may want to change few things over here now let's initialize this code so this will initialize the uh, terraform code for us this will download the plugins and then let's generate a plan so terraform plan and this will show us that it is going to create uh, three resources one is the s3 bucket the other is the uh, db instance so here you can see three to add so i have the uh, s3 bucket then here i have the ec2 instance and here i have the db instance now let's apply this so terraform apply and i will auto approve this and this will start creating the resources so like i said earlier your terraform will handle the dependencies to a certain level so here you can see first my s3 bucket is created okay so the order in which the resources are created terraform handles that for us now next this will launch an ec2 instance for us and then a db instance now this will take some time so i'm going to pause the uh, video okay so this took some time but as you can see here first the s3 bucket is created then the ec2 instance was launched and then my database was launched so by default terraform will handle the dependency to a certain level all right however you want uh, you want to control this order that is you want the s3 bucket and the database to be created first and then the ec2 instance so to be uh, launched that is where we can make use of your depends on meta argument so we can create a dependency telling that uh, before you launch this ec2 instance create the dependent resources for us and then create these resource all right so let me quickly destroy this and again i'll pause the video since this will uh, take some time to destroy the resources okay so the resources are created so now let's go to our main.tf file and what i'll do is i'll just uncomment this depends on meta argument so here i'm creating a dependency so i'm telling for this resource all right for this aws instance resource we have a dependency which is this resource aws underscore s3 bucket which is here and this local name comma so we i'm creating two dependencies over here so you can create a single dependency that is one single resource dependency or you can create multiple resource dependencies and this is the second dependency which is for this db instance now in this case what will happen is terraform will first launch these two resources and then launch the ec2 instance for me so let's see an example for this so let's um, apply this once again and you will see the order in which the resources gets created uh, will be different than the first one that we did so in the first instance uh, the s3 bucket was created then the ec2 instance was launched and then the database was created now here because of the depends on meta argument first the s3 bucket will be created then the db instance will be launched and then the ec2 instance will be created so here you can see this is the s3 bucket and here you can see this is launching the database for me first so once the database is available then the ec2 instance will be launched again this will take some time so i will pause my video okay so here you can see now terraform will strictly follow the order because of the dependency that we have created so first the s3 bucket will be created then the database will be created and then the ec2 instance will be launched so like this if you want to handle certain type of dependencies or if you want to control the order in which the resources are created then we can make use of your depends on meta argument that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel 
and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video